Hey, that's our rental car. The cream dream. We're finding a beach, it's a secluded beach. We thought it would be over sort of barren lands with views, but it turns out we're going through this temperate rainforest. There was a storm last night, so the roads have been fooled with stuff that have that's fallen down and it's a there's a dampness in the air. And we're off to go find this beach. How how far is it, Fern? Did it say? Fern doesn't know. What I will do as well is I've got the OS map on my phone. I'll put a, I'll put that up now so you can have a look at the the route itself if anyone wants to follow it. Views. Absolutely nailed it. See, we can do walking back to camera. In any country! Oh, Has he been? He's been, baby. He has been. <laughs> He's been, wow! Jesus what? Christ! <laughs> Man down! <laughs> oh, happy hiking dogs! He's a boy! Where's he live? Live up there! See you later, mate. Oh. Who's a boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, I love you. I can't believe I was scared of you a minute ago. They look massive from far away, then they get up close, they're tiny. Look at every corner. As we're hiking down, two things that have struck me. One, there's waterfalls, which is, if you know these islands, the Canary Islands, they're like rivers and things like that are very hard to come by. And just up the north of Tenerife, there's just waterfalls and stuff. And I don't know whether they're always here or it's because we had a bit of a rainstorm last night. It was thunder, lightning and heavy rain and whether that's just the runoff from that. I think that's the case, it's just the runoff because it doesn't look like it always falls there. But the second thing is that we keep coming across these little tiny houses tucked up right into the rocks. And you wouldn't know they were there unless you walked past them. How? without helicoptering it in, do you get all them breeze blocks in, the mortar and everything else to build that? It's mind boggling. He's got the best gaff because like, there's just running water at the back of your house. You're good to go. If you fancy just shining it all off, feeding straight into that the back of that person's house. That's a beauty. Look at it, mate. I reckon you can drink that, do you? And it's quite clever, he's built a little thing to the side so it ca it'll capture it all in here. So it's almost like a little sink. And then you can use that to wash yourself or... Oh, I've unblocked it. Look, it had a blockage but now it's unblocked and you've got yourself a little tap. I reckon that's good to go, you know. I'm going to have a bit. It's lovely. That's good as clobber. Wow. Bit of rock climbing. Get back on the path. Are we back on the path? Woo. Hello. Why are you so big? Yeah, hey, Bumble. I'm not a flower. You are. You're a fern. Yeah. Woo. It's an aeroplane going over, so excuse that noise, but look at that, it could be Peru. I haven't seen any medics on this one and, you know, sometimes, I've done it in the past where, when I was on the Cape Raft Trail, there was a lamb and it was too small, I didn't want to medic it, and there's a cat down there, a dead cat, and I just don't want to medic it, because some things don't feel medicable, if that makes sense, so R.I.P. cat. Someone's just been chilling, like, having a barbecue, I mean, yeah, like... killing cats. I mean, I think that's a natural... It's, it's built into the cliff. Oh, oh, it's actually someone's gaff. This is maybe their shed or something. Look at the views they've got there. It's absolutely insane. This is like the hills of eyes. Like it's like that version of it, but sunny. And I love these tiles. Check it out. They've got like a little butterfly printed on them. Let's get out of cat towers. How on earth are you making that 
How are you getting all that? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how they do it. Well, not just your shopping, like everything to build that. That the only way in and out is the way that we've just come there. This is crazy. Whoa! Love yous. <laughs> Merry Christmas from mine to yours. <laughs> And look at this one. Just a little bamboo and asbestos roof with a little bar there. And look at that view. I've plotted in this route onto my OS map. And there it is catching up with us. And we are, these buildings are on here. And then, as you can see there, it says there's a big cave up in up there somehow turns in amongst it if i zoom out you can see how far we've got to go so we've we're there and we've got to go the rest of the way to this secluded beach and that's the plan and then hopefully make our way back as well we're not we're not leaving ourselves much time because it gets dark at about half six we found it we found the cave okay you can you can <laughs> enter the cave <laughs> Oh, it's quite low. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So they build the caves and then they put little extensions on them? Yeah, they would have started in the caves, weren't they, many moons ago? That's pretty cool. Another cave? <laughs> Why is it so... They're slippy in these caves. Hello, can I crave? Can I, ca can I come in? Oh, Fern, this is... What, is it good? Good taste? Well, I reckon we could get a good acoustic in here. Well, what I'm going to do is try and get that note that reverberates. <laughs> what is it? Just make sure there's no massive rats that are going to do a bit. Wow. Whoa. Right. Okay, for times. Ooh, hold on. <coughs> Let's see if I can get it. Ooh. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, my mate hit this note and it was like... Me and my mate Joe was doing it in um, a cave. Oh. No, I didn't that do was it. it. It wasn't it? No. It was nice. Did you like? Good soup. Good soup. I like big butts of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, that's And all those little bits to put your tea lights in, I think. Oh. If you're into it. Anyway, yes. sound bath. <coughs> anyway, come on. Hot one, it's weird in there. Sound gone in. Whew, so if you are going to do these hikes, I mean, it's not for the the faint of leg. Or the faint of head. Some of the heights are quite steep. If you took just one false step there, one wrong move, you're pretty much done for. The best you can hope for is you're getting peeled on cactus on the way down and it slows you down. But if that's the best you can hope for, you're in a pretty bad space. We're gonna go up and over this ridge. The crib gok of of Tenerife. So here we are. 3.2. It's another 3.2k. That's my other spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite far, so keep going. And the clouds are coming in. The clouds are following us. And so this is like the crossroads. We could head down to Playa de Zaputa or Zappa. So yeah, we've got another 3k. So if we zoom out, we can see here. Can you see on this, guys? Ah, oh. do you see? Probably not. We're there. 
we're not quite halfway yet. Just showing, look, either side, it's big steep valleys either side. We're to, having to do a serious bit of um, uh, mountain bike. Do you know what I think? I think we've come the wrong way from back here. I'm going to run back and see if there's an easier way down. Look, Cairn Barlow, which tells me that that's the way. And I'm going to add, add a little bit to that because it's an amazing thing, look. And that tells me this way. And it is. We'll have to remember this for the way back. Look at that man, one false move. <laughs> oh, I was just saying like, oh, Fern's just jumped down the hard way and I've gone back round the normal path. Do you live there now? Shall I try and go back up? I mean, it's, it, that is the way. There was a cairn, but I, let me come and help you. It's not that bad. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I got you. That's it. No, my bag. Yeah, no, I've got you. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's taking us down into the valley, and we're cutting along this path next to this river. It doesn't look very appetising as far as like getting in it, but it's because because of the rain last night. It's just all surface water that's just taken all the the silt and the mud off, so it looks a bit gammy. But it's an absolutely beautiful trail, and I was just saying to Fern, it's like it's like one of your long distance hikes in the UK. But then every now and again, there's a big cactus or just ever so slight differences in the fauna and flora. <laughs> Is that live? <laughs> yeah. It's ever so slippy. <laughs> how, how has this happened? No. <laughs> Yeah, That's it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Smashed it. Pow. Smashed it, pal. <laughs> oh my god. Well done. Single file. Single file. Single file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I pick it up? Yep. Okay. Many thanks. <laughs> We're beginning our, or what look, what looks like our descent to what we hope will be our private beach. It should be okay because on our way back, the sun will be behind this ridge, so we won't be getting peppered too much because we don't want the sun on us when we're hiking back up this mountain. And I've called it a mountain because that's what it is. Oh look! Whoa! What is he? Tracks look like, yeah. look like some sort of deer, don't they? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Somewhat bitter. Can I do it again? We can't keep doing this, guys. It's very hot <laughs> and it's a lot further than we thought. So I hope you appreciate these. In fact, we'll give you one more. Oh, one more. Come on. We've got okay. this. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Enthusiasm. <laughs> Monster. Almost, yeah. I'm a bit cocky. Yeah. The next clip is us dying down there. Thanks for your patience, love you. Uh, yeah, it's not for the faint-hearted actually. This hike, it's quite a, it's quite a leg pumper, and also we've got to go all the way back up. I'm really glad I bought me hiking boots. We both, we didn't bring any luggage uh, on the plate. We just ca uh, came with carry-on. And we knew we were going to be hiking, so we just came, we travelled in our hiking boots. And I'm in my lowers, which I'm glad I brought because they've got the ankle support. It's quite rocky and the rocks are quite sharp, so that little bit of ankle support is well worth it over me trail runners. 
I'm enjoying them for day hikes. If it was multi multi day hikes, I would definitely be my trail runners. But for this sort of hiking, I'm glad I brought them. You won't want something to come off there because that is logging you off. We think we're going to get something good off there, so this is what we and this is how it live and direct. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, there's a harbour and a little like thing. Oh, I'm starting to regret not bringing my flippers now. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Houses and stuff. They must have brought stuff in on boats. That looks cool. Good. Let's get down there. Are you a geographist? I'm a geographist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, good. So, this is a magma bed. And if you don't think it is because you're an actual geologist, <laughs> then, then obviously it's not. But <laughs> for us, it is. We've deduced because it just looks like it's run down, doesn't it? Like, yeah, unless been, huh? it's black, yeah, it's magma. Make magma great again. Now, my brain is just is whoosh, is going towards like, oh, we've got to get back up that that magma farm. Go through here, look. Oh, I'll tell you what, man, it's good for you. The old ADHD brain because the, the terrain is just ever changing. As soon as you get used to one thing, it's just, you're on to the next. Have we, like rumour has it that we've gone the wrong way even. Where's Fern gone? Back here. Are you all right? Yeah, we're good. We've made our own sarnies, which is an absolute delight. I've never been so excited to have a sarnie in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually looks quite close now. You were there pretty, pretty much. Visibility is so bad because all of this brown mud water. Oh, you're so yeah, you're so right. Yes, you're so right. That is a good shout. Yeah, jump in that prickly pear bush for the bants. <laughs> oh, okay. It wouldn't be hospital, but it'd be a long. You'd have your one of us would have our work out for us with the tweezers. Very awful. I don't know if what I'm doing with these vlogs and how how they're all panning out and what you're seeing, but yesterday we did go foraging for the prickly pears and a fern got one stuck, one in the roof of the mouth and then one in a tongue <laughs> that took a lot of getting out and I think she's gonna have PTSD from it for the rest of her days. Well done, well done. We're here, we've made it onto the black sand. It's like glittering. Yeah. And it's just smooth and really fine. Sarnies and crisps. I'm going to put my crisps in my salmon. Oh my god. She's gone wild. She's gone wild. <laughs> Great idea though. <laughs> no. Right, we've made it. We've made it down, <laughs> and we're gonna run and go for a swim in the big blue. Absolutely stunning. And then, because we're cutting it so fine, we're gonna have to set off straight away. So we're just gonna go for a dip, and then we're gonna head back up because it's gonna take us about three hours to get back to the car, and we've only got about that much daylight left. So we'll see what happens. Look at this man, all this to ourselves. The whole beach. And we've been for a swim, we've cooled down, had a rest, eaten our sandwiches, and now it's the ascent back up. Right, we've started, we've set off going and uh, we've, for some reason, forgotten everything we've, it's like childbirth, I think, isn't it? You forget, you forget the distress that it puts you through. Man and down. the thump, triple Man thump. down! Oh my God. Oh, they're bad oh. as well. And here we are, we just cut off the spines and peeled it. And I was promised I would never eat one of these again. <laughs> but there's, yeah, yes, literally yesterday we were, <laughs> Running around scared of this actual <laughs> fruit, aren't we? But I think the problem yesterday 
was that we put them all in that little green bag and we then did. all the spines from one had got onto the next one and then they were just everywhere and it was uncontrollable yeah but actually if you just pick one off yeah and and knife the um <laughs> spindles off and then peel them yeah fine. keep it contained cheers, cheers. how are you going in just eating it wow don't do that. Don't do that. She says don't do that. So, you see, we've learned a lot from our Piggly Fair experience. What? <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> You'll also notice that Fern's dressed as a Piggly Fair right now, which is absolutely insane. Um, small bites that a lot of seeds. Do I need to turn this camera off while you spit them all out? <laughs> yeah. See you later. Um, I'll bring it over to me while Fern just discards the seeds. <laughs> Sm small bites. I think what we want is the vitamins from it, maybe a little bit of the mouthfeel and a little bit of like juice. Mm, small bites. It's not even amazing. I'm associating the taste with how annoying they are. Yeah, like when you listen to someone's music who you don't like, and you're like, mm. Anyone? Kanye West, maybe? We're against the clock and we should really, we really shouldn't be stopping. <laughs> there he is. Oh. There, look at that. Good eye, mate. So I'm going to creep up on this goat and get a close up and show you, look. This, if I was a hunter, this is how close I would get to it. Please don't kick my head in, because that'd be well embarrassing. He's a big lad, look at the size of danglers on him. Finds in his own beeswax. You a regal boy, aren't you? No. He's so luscious. Here we go, big push up this little bit here. And then we've got some vistas. It's a definite leg pumper. And as the sun just... You can see it going down behind these mountains. It's causing a lovely, sort of misty, hazy, if you will, vibe. It's vibes. Beautiful. And there she is. Fern smashing it, absolutely smashing it. And what we've done is we've got some, we brought some electrolytes with us and put them in our water. There's a, I'll leave a photo of them here. And I won't go on a long distance hike without them. They are exquisite. And are good for if you've been out on the old wobbly pop as well. You bang one of them in the morning, you feel right as rain. So I'll leave a link below to them. Uh, there, check them out if you want. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's the Kuecha uh, Kue or Kuecha. I'm from uh, Decathlon. And I've had a few of their things before. And Fern, we picked this up because her other um, her fuel raven bag was digging into her, her shoulders. So we picked this up. It's a 20 litre, how much was it? 25 euros? It was like 25, 30 euros, something like that. And it is amazing, isn't it? It's so good. And Fern recommends it to girls if they want a day pack? Yes, I do. She does? That way then. Yeah, that's where you were goated on there. <laughs> <laughs> Highlight of the whole of the whole vlog. In fact, guys, let's cut back to that bit and have another little look, shall we? Cue that little bit. <laughs> do you live there now? Nice to revisit that little moment there. La Moon. And then this side is all in shadow. You can see, look at it though, it's such cool. You didn't really pick it up on here as much, but you can trust me, the contours are just amazing. And then that side, look. Wow, look at it through that. In. Into the forest we go. Into the cooling, temperate rainforest. It really just has had everything. This hike, from the rainforest to the exposed areas, the, the fauna and flora keeps changing. The, what underfoot? We've had several river crossings. We've had a sandy beach, all to ourselves. Whew. We've still got quite a way to go there, so I'm not going to get too. Uh, Celebrate Look at this little terracotta house tucked in on this ridge. It's unbelievable that how have they made it? Honestly, if anyone knows that, right, in the comments 
how, how are you going to know? But if you do know, how? Just tell me how they do it. How do they do it? Is it all helicoptered in or is it done by huge families over time where they just bring it all up in on mass? She's going to be hitting it. Wow! <laughs> Look at that. You! Stunner. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, me. Yawning. Bored, you're bored of it. You're bored of these views, are you? Which is. Yawnathon. Look at this, it's stunning. And I was going to say, like, apologise to everyone that I've not been uploading and making hiking and camping videos. And I was thinking, oh, well, this is kind of a. Not the same, but it is the same because look, I'm hiking in the mountains. It's just that I'm not uh, sleeping in a tent, but if you just squint your eyes and imagine a little bit, I am sleeping in a tent in many ways. Also, peace, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is it looks beautiful, doesn't it? And it's as beautiful as any hike that you can do in England, if not more so, look. It's just silhouettes. Oh yeah, I like the silhouette. The you silhouette, can't you all can't the see all. Because someone rubbed prickly pear in Fern's face. Oh, look at that! Wonderful. Get off. <laughs> Back in the temperate rainforest, and it's cooler. You can feel the air's cooler. The um, all the uh, plants are a bit different, and we've been treated to this lovely, like, mountainous sunset poking itself through here. If we can get up here, Fern's going for a goose. Look, Should have a goose. A goose. What we got? Oh dear. You're a sweaty mess. I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> Guys, newsflash, I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> we have a little break. Should we have a power bar? Oh my We've god. We've got energy bars. Yes. Let's have a bit of water and an energy bar. Is it what better place to stop? Is it a sheer drop? Oh it's Ed Sheeran, isn't it? I put two in here for you. Can I have one? Can you have one? Why have you you had yours? I've had two. You've had two? Where did you have them? Have you been sneaking them? <laughs> Guys, she's not a team player, it's evident. <laughs> it's terrible. What you've eaten all our country. I had two at lunch and then you didn't have yours. Of course you can have one. <laughs> Thank you. Sausage. <laughs> if you see there, in the very distance there's just manifested itself that's the uh the top of mount tide which is in the south and it's uh an active volcano and we can see it from here that is stunning stay tuned because we're going to try and get to the top of that or at least near the top of it we're losing light rapidly and the canopy is so thick luckily the path is well trodden in up here and th we timed it perfectly But the, look, there's the moon. That's how you say the moon's out. It's getting quite dark, and now it even gets even wetter and uh, and more green and more lush up here. <sighs> even got bracken. See all that orange stuff? That's just dead bracken. I can sense the car. It's absolute level ten on a set machine. This is leg day, innit? It's leg day. Leg week. Leg day in the wild. <laughs> And a month's worth of leg days. That's right. Today. <sighs> Listen to all the different birds. Proper rainforest vibes. I can see the car. The cream princess. The cream dream. She's there, look. You've nailed it. Oh my god! Ah. Well done. There she be. Woo! Topping out. We don't have a trig point or the end of a hike, but we'll top out on the the cream dream. What, are you relieved to see the car? Yeah, you want to top out on it with your hand like we've just. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, like the end of a, on a trig point. Done it. Trigman fried. <laughs> Oh, we can neck, we can neck the leckies. Can you get my uh, drink out? Neck the leckies. 
that as well. Unreal. <laughs> oh. <sighs> to drink without having the thought of saving anything is just a joy. So what we take for granted. He's not going to leave that there. I am going to leave that there because leave only plastic bottles <laughs> take only memories. I'm going to leave a link below to my OS map. What the fuck? <laughs> Can get that right? I'll, uh, sorry, bottle's going everywhere. I'll leave a link below to my OS map thing, and we're going to do a review of it. Yeah. And what it, from you can sort of go from easy, moderate, extreme. What would you say? Because Paul made the the route. The route did not exist. Oh yeah, the route didn't exist. We've planned. We've plotted it in. And then now we've got to the part of where on the website or the app where it asks you like, okay, that's your route. Do you want to save it and share it with others? How hard was it? So we've got to answer a questionnaire about <laughs> the route that we made. Yeah. And so you can go and see that. But what would you say it would be like a difficult route? I sit between it? moderate and hard because I think like hard would be actually rock climbing like maybe you need some specialist equipment and yeah. that was incredibly difficult and like sweaty but not life threatening but it was, at no point was I like I don't think I can do this yeah it was just hard but so I think that's the top between moderate and hard amber mm. if it was a colour yeah amber Amber, there you go. Um, <laughs> one to do, so do check it out and check it out if you want to do it. Um, there'll be more stuff coming from Tenerife, I should imagine. I think we're going to go and do some diving, try and redeem myself with the turtles. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye! I'm oh, but yeah, you do that. Fade to black. And then I'm yeah. going to go. Fade to black. <laughs> See ya. And then out. Of the That's line. a new one. See ya. <laughs>